I showed you how to weigh, I don't like what I'm saying, how to make a <sighs> buckets. I can't. <clears throat> you need in the bucket. What's up everybody? Anna Mae and I are gonna do a video today and this may gross a lot of y'all out, but we're gonna show you our Dubia Roach Colony and we're gonna show you our special invention to sort these Dubia Roaches out. Let me take you right around here and show you our two bins with our Dubia Roach Colonies. Let me pull this thing out just briefly. So this is one of the colonies right here. I'm not sure how many you can see in there. There's definitely some in there. And let's go over here and look at our other Dubia Roach colony. Let's pop the top off this one. This one is the larger of the two. Check that out, guys. Look at all those. Told you it would gross some of y'all out. But... All right, guys, so we just showed you the Dubia colonies. Now let's get back to what this video is really about. We're gonna run out here, jump into the truck, head over to Lowe's, and we're gonna get the first item on our list to making our Dubia Roach sorters. We hope that Red Boy does not get out while we're gone. <laughs> we're now going out the door. So what's up guys? We just arrived here at Lowe's and we're looking for the first item on our list and boom, here they are. We're gonna grab these blue Lowe's buckets and how many ever sizes you're gonna sort of your Dubia roaches is how many buckets you need. So I believe we're gonna get four cause we're gonna do four different sizes and we already have a bucket at home to go under the bottom to catch them, which I'll be elaborating on further in the video. All right, everybody, we just got back from Lowe's with our buckets. We got four buckets. We already have one bucket here and we're gonna drill holes in the bottoms of these buckets at different size intervals. And that's what the Dubia roaches will be able to crawl through to sort them. You'll be left with the largest roaches in the top bucket and they'll, you'll stack the buckets on top of each other and they'll go through the holes down to the bottom bucket will be the smallest ones. So we're gonna drill one eighth inch holes, quarter inch holes, three eighths inch holes, and half inch holes. I caught the <laughs> culprit. I caught him. You caught him, <laughs> Anna Mae caught him actually. Red boy is climbing into Snowflake's tank. Yeah, he's done that two times. He's gotten Hero's tank once and Red Boy's tank, tw and I mean Snowflake's tank twice. Yep. I caught the culprit. <laughs> The tools you're gonna need to do this are gonna be a battery or maybe a plug-in drill, and then you're not gonna need the proper size drill bits to drill the holes in the bottom of the bucket. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a bunch of holes in the bottom of this bucket so that when we put the roaches down in here, the ones that are that size of the hole or smaller will be able to crawl through into the bucket below. All right, so we just finished the first bucket. Anna Mae and I drilled this one. Man, our hands are sore. This is the eighth inch hole bucket right now. These holes look pretty small. I'm not sure if the Dubia babies can fit through here or not, but this is all an experiment, so we'll see what happens. Now we're gonna move on to the next three sizes. We're gonna get those completely drilled and then we'll be right back with you. All right, we have all the buckets drilled now and we're gonna start out on the bottom with a solid bucket so it will catch the roaches, okay? Then next, we're gonna put our eighth inch drilled bucket down in there. The next bucket will be our quarter inch hole bucket. The next one will be our three eighths hole bucket. And then the next bucket will be our half inch hole bucket. We're going to get some of the roaches out and we're gonna shake them off into a bin because the egg crates are a little bit too big to handle inside this bucket. And then we'll dump the roaches in here and they will fall through these series of holes sorting them out by sizes all the way down to the smallest ones in the orange Home Depot bucket on the bottom. All right, we got our bucket stacked up here. I'm gonna run over here to the roach bin and I'm gonna beat out some of those roaches into this container and I'll bring them over here and we'll dump them right in the top of this bucket 
and show you how this sifting method is going to work. All right, guys, here's the roaches. I got about uh, three or four of the um, egg flats and beat them out in here and got the roaches out. And now we're going to take these right here and we're going to dump them right down in the top of this. You'll see them start going through the holes right now and we'll let them do their thing on their own and then we'll tap these buckets a little bit and get them to fall down in there so that they will sift out more through the, uh, the next ones. And when you pull these buckets out, you're going to have to be careful because there's going to be roaches hanging on the bottom of the bucket. So you're going to, have to tap it and make sure that all of them fall off or you'll have roaches all over the floor. We've let most of them go down through there and what I'm finding is that these uh, half inch holes are appropriate. Some of the smaller males with wings, the ones with the wings or the males, are getting through the half inch holes, but we can, we can alleviate that. And let me show you here when I pick this up, let's see if there's gonna be, yep, there's a few right there on the bottom that I'm gonna have to knock down into the bucket. All right, I'm gonna dump the roaches right into here. The half inch holes worked pretty well. We were able to get pretty much all the adult breeder roaches in the very top. I don't think we need to go any larger than a half inch hole. So I will have all the sizes of the holes that I used in the description on this video. We're gonna move on to the next bucket and this is the one with the three eighths inch holes in here. There's a few males in here as I was mentioning, but we can pick those out. Let me uh, pick this bucket up here and see if there's any roaches on the bottom, and there are. Okay, we're gonna dump this bin out right here. As you can see what we've got down in there now, that's the next size, and like I said, there are a few of these adult males. They are narrower than the adult females, so they're able to slip through that uh, half inch hole, but I'll hand pick those out and put them back in with the adult breeders. All right, let's move on to the next bucket. I'm gonna go ahead and dump them in here and see what we've got. These right here are a good eating size for your small dragons. We will probably put these in a separate bin right here and grow these up larger so that um, our larger dragons can eat them. And now, after I dump these in, I'm gonna show you the one that we have the eighth inch holes. All right, so here's gonna be the true test to see if the eighth inch holes are too small or if actually something's gonna go through them. So you can see right down in here, the roaches, and I'm gonna pull it out. We check the bottom, and I believe I was right. Um, the cool thing about this is any food or poop that's in the egg crates, or if you can see those tiny little worms down in there, those are actually the dermatid beetle larva. We can either feed those to Hero because he really likes them, or we can put those back in with our dubia colonies and they will turn into the dermatid beetles and they'll eat the uh, waste and eat the dead roaches that are in the bottom. All right, so we're gonna dump our bucket with the eighth inch holes in the clear container. And these are basically your smaller babies. We do not want to feed these to the dragons. This would kind of be a waste. So I will put these in maybe the container under here. Show them this container. It's a container back there. It does not have a heat pack or anything. It just has like egg containers. I don't know if it has food in it yet. It's actually completely cleaned out and it does already have the heat pads on it. All we have to do is raise it up off the ground and get it plugged in and get it going. And I think that we're gonna put all the newly hatched and the babies in this one right here. Mm -hmm. And we'll just feed those and let them grow to a substantial size before we move them uh, to a new container and put more babies in there. That's a good idea. All right guys, so that concludes our video today. We showed you our Dubia roach colonies. We showed you how to make sorting containers out of five gallon buckets. 
We actually showed you sorting our roaches, and we even showed you the culprit, Red Boy, how he gets out of his tank and into Snowflake's tank, didn't we, Anime? Yeah. So if you like what you saw today, make sure you go down there and smash that subscribe button, hit the like, share the videos with your friends, and I will see y'all in the next video.